بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك أنت العليم الحكيم My topic today is about uh, cystic splenic mass lesion differential diagnosis, common causes and this common causes and clues to the diagnosis and with some examples. The common causes of cystic uh, splenic mass lesion include cyst, splenic cyst, either acquired or congenital, splenic trauma, and splenic infarction. Keys, key differential diagnosis issues we cannot differentiate between congenital and acquired splenic cyst by imaging. Helpful clues for common diagnosis. Splenic cyst acquired one, result from a prior trauma, infection, infarction, and it is about 80% of splenic cyst may have calcified wall. As we see here in this axial CT scan, there is a splenic cyst here. It is hypodense, cystic uh, in density, and there is also incidental uh, another region with enhancing, uh, enhancing its periphery might, uh, might, might be due to uh, hemangioma or lymphangioma. Here, the cyst, it is, uh, there is no uh, mural nodule, there is no septation. No enhancing wall also seen. Here is another uh, axial CT scan, shows another eggshell calcification of cystic lesion probably post-automatic. Here, our differential diagnosis of high data cyst cannot be excluded. Congenital splenic cyst, same appearance as acquired cyst, acquired cyst but has epithelial, epithelial, epithelial lining, and this is seen in the histology. Imaging cannot be differentiate cannot differentiate between acquired and congenital splenic cyst. Splenic trauma, acute splenic hematoma, is hyperechoic in ultrasound, and or heterogeneous and hyper dense or heterogeneous in non contrast CT scan may evolve to sonolucent, hypodense, or cystic lesion. Splenic infarction may evolve to splenic cyst after a few days to weeks from the incident. Here we see axial CT scan contrast or study with which shape zones involving the spleen with decrease enhancement perfusion defects evolves to, into splenic cyst in that area and these are resulting from infarction. And you see here these are the tubes for uh, ventricular assist device in patient with cardiomyopathy. Less common causes include metastasis, lymphoma, infection, abscess, splenic tumor, and pancreatic cytocyst. The clues for this common diagnosis, splenic metastasis and lymphoma 
from cystic primary tumor, uh, we have ovarian metastasis, and called cystic metastasis to the spleen. Other metastatic lesion and lymphoma are solid lesion, but may be homogeneously hypervascular and mimic cyst on imaging CT, ultrasound, and even in MRI. Check for involvement of the liver nodes and consider biopsy. Here we see a patient with has hypodense area noted on the on, on the liver and multiple small hypodense area in the also liver. And here there are two lesions in the spleen, but it is not looks like not uh, as hypodense as on the liver, and these are both to be metastasis from melanoma. Splenic infection and abscess. Microabscess is usually due to candida albicans and in, in patient uh, with immune, in, immune compromised patient. Biogenic abscess is uncommon in the spleen and often result from infection of the infected splenic tissue. Hydrated abscesses are rare. Here we see a patient with uh, multiple hypodense area involving the spleen with the splenomegaly in uh, after renal transplant. Uh, both to be candida microabscesses. Splenic tumor, primary splenic tumor are uncommon and usually in infant geoma or human geoma. Appearances are, are variable and non specific and often include cystic or and solid component. Angiosarcoma, it is rare, primary splenic tumor, usually heterogeneous hypervascular, and usually have liver tumor as well. Here, this patient with uh, axial uh, CT scan after contrast, we see multiple lesions in the spleen. And, mul and multiple lesion in the liver, and also multiple lesion in the subcutaneous tissue. And uh, this patient has uh, uh, thrombocytopenia with multiple hemangiomas and coagulopathy. And the patient has kazabach merit syndrome. Pancreatic pseudocyst, pancreatitis involving the tail segment can easily spread into spleen via the spleen or renal ligament. May evolve into intra splenic pseudocyst, equicentric sub beer as equicentric subcapsular cystic lesion with conversion and distortion of the splenic parenchyma. Here we have patient has uh, two cysts, one in the liver, in the left lobe of the liver, and another one it is causing mass effect on the spleen from acute pancreatic inflammation affecting the tail of the pancreas and this spread to the in the subcapsular region with conversion of the splenic tissue. Thank you very much for uh, listening. Hoping to see you in another uh, talk soon.